and now it is time for the glorious capping of the whole process. Let's walk through the whole thing. I have a visual here. I have a, a, a an animation thing. Don't know why that was so difficult to say. Look. It's color coded. What is this guy? That's your mitochondria. And you see my inner mitochondrial membrane is blue. And you see my outer mitochondrial membrane is purple. Cytoplasm, purple. Intermembrane space, blue. Matrix, white. Now, I think we'll see how exactly this is carried out. I think that we're just going to take a slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually label all of these parts. What are these little pink things that you see in the center, in, in the intermembrane space? Those are hydrogen ions, so everybody's clear on that. All right, yeah, 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 you're rock stars. You already knew that, didn't you? You could totally do, oh, my gosh, and look at this. Does this look familiar? I've labeled my spaces for you. Who are these guys? These are my electron, um, these are my proteins in the electron transport chain. And let's go through the process of glycolysis. Let's figure out where this happens. Remember, we take a glucose molecule. We turn it into pyruvate. We get two electron carriers. Do you see my electrons here? And we get two ATPs. That's the end game of glycolysis. Let's see what happens to these things. Our ATP, where's it headed? It's going off to be used in the cytoplasm. Someone's going to do something with it. Our pyruvate and our high energy electron carriers are actually coming into the mitochondria. And pyruvate, once in the mitochondria, we're going to save up our electron carriers. We're going to just keep them over here on the side just to visualize our stack of electron carriers that we're going to get in this whole process. But we can turn the pyruvate into acetyl-CoA, and what is that process going to end up with? Look, we made some carbon dioxide and two more high energy electron carriers. That's cool. And now the carbon dioxide left. Now our acetyl-CoA is going to enter the Krebs cycle. Let's go see what, what comes out. Oh, my gosh, this is really cool. What's coming out? We got two ATPs directly out of this process. We got four carbon dioxides, there they go, to be breathed off. And we have, was it eight high energy electrons carriers it's for a total of 12. There they are on the side. Do you remember what happens with them? Why don't we go to the electron transport chain and find out? Here we go. Oh, did you see that? I took one of my high energy electron carriers and I'm taking it to the electron transport chain. And you remember that the electrons get passed to the first protein in the chain. What, now look at what just happened to when my um, high energy electrons were passed off. I now, I still have an electron carrier. It's going to go back to some glycolysis or Krebs cycle process and pick up more high energy electrons. So it's just going to continue the cycle. The protein grabs the high energy electrons, uses the energy that comes from those high energy electrons to pump, O, oh, a proton against the concentration gradient into that intermembrane space. Meanwhile, where are my electrons? They still have some energy in them, and they're on the next protein. So let's see what happens there. Let's get a new electron carrier. Check it out. We actually can fit a new pair of electrons in. And now we're going to have more energy to do some pumping as those electrons get passed down to the next protein. And there they go. And they're, once they've released that energy, the energy is used to pump those protons into that inner membrane space. Do you think we can use another high energy electron carrier? Totally. So here comes another one. We've got the electrons. Let's pass them off. We're ready. We're primed. 
What's going to happen? Where are they going to pass them? Remember, they don't have anywhere to pass them. We now have a log jam. The whole thing's going to back up. In fact, I wonder, look, here I've got an electron carrier that's like, dude, I've got these high energy electrons. Don't you want them? But there's nowhere to pass them. This stinks. So what are we going to have to do? Looks like we're going to deal with that later because, first of all, we're going to let some of the protons out through ATP synthase. <gasps> Watch this magic. Through go the protons. Boom. Now we've got an ATP. And through comes some more protons. Boom. Now we've got some ATP. Who just appeared on the scene to save the day? Oxygen. Why do we need oxygen? to accept those electrons so we can keep the process going. Can you imagine that eventually all the protons are going to go through? We're going to use up all of that concentration gradient, and we're not going to be able to make any more ATP. So we better keep producing, we better keep maintaining the concentration gradient with these high energy electrons. If you grab, if you let oxygen accept, <sighs> the high energy electrons as the final electron acceptor and throw in a couple of hydrogen ions while you're at it, you're going to get a water molecule. And that water molecule, I think my little thing is done. My whole animation is over because now we've got the water molecule and we can continue the whole thing. We can go on forever and ever and ever. And don't worry, I won't. That's it. Review that as many times as you want, and it's on SlideShare, so you can totally go check it out and play with it. And this is really, like, important. Here's your pep talk. The next lecture is on photosynthesis. And if you don't have a good grip of cellular respiration, photosynthesis is going to be like, oh, no, don't do this to me. If you have a good grip on cellular respiration, Photosynthesis is going to be like, I could have figured that out. Like, pfft, easy peasy. And you'll be that happy. So go the easy peasy route and make sure cellular respiration rocks your world. And then come back and do photosynthesis. All right. Don't you love cellular respiration? It's really cool. And now I'm going to go do some, but I have to put in some glucose first. Ice cream? Maybe. Bye-bye.